Hi, welcome to iSpeak's PowerPoint Tips and Tricks. Today's module is called Pictures. Let's start with where to find the pictures. Everybody uses Google Image Search, which is fine, but do know that many of the pictures that we find are copyrighted. Beware that you're not using copyrighted pictures. To ensure that you're not, you can purchase pictures from companies like Shutterstock or Getty Images and a couple of websites that have free pictures available are sites like Unsplash, FreePick, and Pixels. Check them out to see if there's some that fit what you're looking to do with your pictures. You might also want to use icons instead of pictures. PowerPoint has these built in. Simply go to Insert Icons on the menu bar. They're constantly adding. There are currently hundreds of icons available. Another website I really like is called The Noun Project. The Noun Project currently has over 2 million icons available that you can incorporate into your PowerPoint presentations. Now let's talk about a few things that you can do with the pictures that you've embedded into your PowerPoint slides. Your slide size can get kind of big. So one of the things that we can do is we can compress the pictures. I'm going to select the iSpeak Visual Storytelling logo. I'm going to go up to the menu bar and I'm going to click on Picture Format. And then over here on the left, there's an option called Compress Pictures. When I click there, it opens up a dialog box that gives me some options with this picture. I can apply it only to this picture, or I can uncheck that and apply it to all pictures throughout my entire presentation. I can also delete the cropped areas of the picture if I've cropped any of the areas of that picture. We'll cover that next. And then finally, I can adjust the resolution of that picture, really helping shrink the file size down from something of a high definition to a web or an email version, which of course will have a more pixelated picture, but will be smaller when I try to share that file. So those are some options that we have in terms of compressing the pictures and really shrinking our overall file size. Next, let's talk about how to crop pictures. When I click on the iSpeak Visual Storytelling logo, you'll see there's some white space on the top of the logo and the bottom of the logo. I'm gonna click on picture format on the menu bar and over here on the right, there's an option to crop. I'm gonna click on that crop button. You'll see those little black arrows around the outside of the logo. I'm simply going to grab that top one, drag it down, grab the bottom one, drag it up, and I've now cut off a majority of that white space. So when I click back on it, the logo is now a lot tighter around the words themselves. We can do this with any picture that we're trying to cut something off or really focus on one key area of that picture. Another option with pictures is what's called setting the transparent color. In this example, I'm going to click on that logo, go up to picture format, and I'm gonna go over here to the color menu. Now the color menu is gonna allow me to change the color of the logo. I could make it black and white, grayscale, or I could even come down and change the actual color of the logo if I needed to. But what I wanna focus on is this option here that says set transparent color. What this is going to do is when I click on that white space behind the logo, it'll make it transparent. And we're now going to be able to see through that logo when we're wanting to put a picture on top of another piece of text or a picture. Sometimes I'm trying to get rid of a shadow on a picture and that is a definite option for getting rid of those shadows. Next, let's talk about how to convert a picture into a shape. This might be something you want to do when you want to create something different with your presentations. You're going to select a picture, go back to that picture format menu, and you're going to go to the crop menu, and you're going to choose crop to shape. Let me walk you through how to do it with this picture here. So I'll click on this lady, go to my picture format menu, go over here to the crop menu, and I'm going to choose crop to shape. And then I'm simply going to choose a shape that I want to crop her into. So I'll choose the 
circle. The, how about I do, I'll do an oval. I'll do the oval and I've got the oval shape, which can give a bit of a different look when we're trying to do something different in our presentations. Next, let's talk about snip and sketch. Love this feature, formerly known as the snipping tool. When you want to snip something out of a picture or off of another slide or maybe from a spreadsheet into your PowerPoint presentation, this is the tool to use. You can use it as part of the Windows 10 software or the shortcut that we see here on the screen is the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the S key to snip something on the screen. What that does is it puts it onto your clipboard so you can then paste. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna take this picture of Bill Krieger. I'm going to press Windows Shift S, which is going to activate the snipping tool. And I'm going to snip out Bill's head as if I was wanting to get a headshot from him. So I'm going to snip his head. It puts it onto the clipboard. I'm going to delete the existing picture that's here on the screen using control B, V as in Victor. I'm going to paste what was on my clipboard now, what I just snipped. I'm gonna make Bill's head bigger and now I've created more of a headshot for Bill from the existing picture, which was much larger to begin with. Finally, let's talk about how to change the background. There are times I want to create a background for my slides and it's very simple to do. We're going to right click on the background of a slide, click on format background, and then we're going to choose a picture. We can either have it from a clipboard, if it's on our clipboard, or we can choose it from a file. Let me show you how to do this. So here's my blank slide. I'm going to right click, go to format background. That's gonna open up that window over here on the right side of my screen. How do I wanna fill my background? I'm gonna choose picture. Now it defaults to a pattern, don't worry about that. We're gonna then choose to either insert from a file or from our clipboard. I'm gonna choose insert from my file. And it's gonna say, where do you wanna get it? From a file, stock images, online pictures, or from icons. I'm gonna choose from a file and I'm going to select from a file that I have on my system. Here is a picture of Lake Georgetown, where I live in Georgetown, Texas. I'm gonna click on that insert button. And now my background has that picture of Lake Georgetown and a quote, there is no best, there's always a better. Now over here on the right, I can choose to hide the background graphics. That's the template that I'm currently using. So you see the orange bar in the upper left corner of the slide and the blue bar all the way across the bottom of the slide. When I turn this option on, those disappear. I also have an option to make that picture transparent. Maybe it's too strong of a picture and it could be taking away from the text that I wanna put on top of it. So I can drag the transparent bar. I can use the up arrow or down arrows of transparency, or I can type a number. I found that 30% is a nice transparency to lighten the slide when I wanna put some text or some other information on that slide. iSpeak offers a variety of public speaking and enhanced communication workshops. We hope you're able to attend one of our sessions. Please connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you in an instructor-led or a virtual-led workshop.